Okay, example one, we're going to start off with a quadratic already in factored form, and we're going to try to graph it. So just looking at this quadratic in factored form, I can tell a couple of things. I know that, first of all, the parabola is going to open downward. Also, by looking at this number and this number, I know where it's going to cross the x-axis. So because this is positive 2, then that means that p equals negative 2. So that means that one of my zeros is at negative 2, 0. Q, since this is minus 4, then that means that Q is positive 4. It's kind of like the opposite thing when we talked about shifting graphs. So that means my other intercept is at 4, 0. So I can go over and graph those two intercepts. I have an intercept at negative 2, 0, and I have an intercept at 4, 0. Next, so I found the two places where the graph crosses the x-axis. The next thing I want to find is my axis of symmetry. If I have my axis of symmetry, that will tell me where the vertex is. And the axis of symmetry is going to be halfway between these two intercepts. So it's going to be halfway between negative 2 and 4. So negative 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is 1. So I know that my axis of symmetry is going to be along this line of x equals 1. So x equals 1 is the axis of symmetry. I can find where the y value is by going back to my equation and putting 1 in place of x. So I'm going to have negative 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 4. So negative 3, negative 3, so this equals 9. So the vertex is going to be at the point 1, 9. So 1, 9 will be up here, and then my parabola is just graphed by going down through those two intercepts.